I would love to be salty about this, but it's just too cute. Hello, today we are unboxing the Pushin 2021 winter box and the theme is holiday movie night. The Pushin box is a quarterly subscription box. Uh, it is officially licensed to use Pushin the cat and it's just super cute. I wanted to try out this super cute subscription box for a really long time and they were running a really good Black Friday deal. The Sheen Box, we are celebrating Black Friday a little early this year because now through November 30th, new subscribers who purchase the Winter 2021 Pusheen Box will receive a second previously released box from our vault for free. Give the gift that keeps on giving this holiday season. And subscribe today at Pushinbox.com or via the link in our bio. Present. Pusheen. Or, well, uh, turns out you can enter the code, but if your box is shipped internationally, you don't actually qualify for the deal. And I only found out after I got the box and contacted the customer service. The box was supposed to arrive before Christmas and it ended up finally arriving January 20th, almost a month late, presumably because of COVID. As far as I can tell, the box has shipped straight from China where all the products are made as well. First of all, this box is so cute. I was ready to forget all about the delay. I love the details. Uh, I love that there's a little push-in face on every box and a little push-in tail and little push-in feetsies on the bottom and they make a seasonal image for the top every for every box. The box has eight push-in box exclusive items. Comfy slipper socks. I think these are great. Uh, I always need warm socks in winter and they have these slight stoppers on the bottom so you don't slip. Then there's a pale blue long sleeved shirt. Uh, I think it's cute and I plan to use it as a pajama shirt. The material is 60% cotton and 40% polyester, which is pretty standard. There's a 100% polyester blanket that says snuggle time. There was already as much on the blanket when it arrived, uh, which is unfortunate. It's hand wash, so let's see if I can, I can get this much off. A movie checklist notepad. Here you can list movie, movies you want to watch and movies you watched and give them smileys. I'm not sure how this notepad is supposed to be used. But if you have an idea, let me know. Two popcorn buckets with red stripes and a cute push-in eating popcorn. I saw some spoilers before I got the box and I was really excited for these. I think they're really cute and I love to make popcorn at home. The size is also good, so maybe I won't eat too much popcorn. They are BPA free, hand wash only, and do not microwave. There's a little push-in plush that's a little push-in wrapped in a blanket with a bag of popcorn. Very cute and relatable.
a glass salt shaker. This is perfect since I'm so salty that I didn't get that sweet, sweet Black Friday deal. The holes on the top seem a little big for salt, so I think I will put some other something else there. It's hand wash only, and I really suggest you wash this before use. A vinyl figure. I was really excited about this vinyl figure as well. It's an exclusive item just like all of these and it's super cute and I love all the details. If you look closer you can see pretty much all of the seams and there's some damage on it so it's not super high quality but for the price of this full box I guess you can't have that high quality items all of them. But let me know which one is your favorite and what would you use them for? I would love to hear. Comment down below. As a summary, I think the box is really cute and big. There's a lot of items. The quality of the products is not super high, but also it's a lot of stuff for the price. Uh, I wish they had been more clear about the delays in shipping and I, I, I really wish they had communicated more clearly that I was not getting the Black Friday deal. Thank you everyone for watching. Leave a like, subscribe and comment down below. Moi moi!